Now, first and foremost, before things get out of hand, you want to get to know your proton pack. It can be your best friend out there in the field. Everything you need to know is displayed on the pack itself. Here's where you keep an eye on your current physical condition. The more green that's on the bar, the more damage you can sustain and still stay on your feet. Now, this bar indicates your pack's heat level. When it gets to the top, you'll want to vent the pack and keep it from shorting out and resetting. For the most part, capturing a ghost is pretty straightforward. We break it into three basic steps. Sap them, cap them, trap them. The first step is blasting a ghost to sap its energy. You're a wicked shot, newbie! See that overlay on the ghost? It indicates the current accumulation of a ghost PKE. The more you disperse, the weaker it becomes. Slimer. There it is! Ugh! And I thought Slimer was disgusting. Alright, you've got it good and winded. Next stage, cap them. You can project a capture stream or wrangler manually using this control. On the other hand, the pack will detect when a ghost is sufficiently weakened and auto-select the capture stream setting. Get in there and throw a capture stream on that tub of goo. Fantastic, you've got it! Soon as your ghost is in your capture stream, the slam meter begins to slowly charge. If you want to accelerate the slam meter charge, you can wrangle or counter-wrangle the ghost at the end of the line. Here's how you do that. Watch the ghost. When he makes a dash in one direction, you pull the stream quickly in the other. Give it a shot! will take the fight out of just about any entity. Slam it! Now we can move to stage three, trap them. You're gonna need some place to put that. There you go, perfect. See the beacon signal coming from the closed trap? That helps you find it when things get crazy. When a trappable ghost moves into proximity, the trap will open automatically and project the trap cone. Just guide your mark in. 